Remember Mary Madeline, after the resurrection of Jesus, uh, there are things that I've shared with you. Don't lose it. Amen? And she wanted to touch Jesus, and Jesus said, no! Do you know if she had succeeded in touching Jesus, everything would have begun? Do you know that? Oh. Because the high priest, when he's going to the holies of holies to present his blood, nobody touches him. Nobody. Because one touch will contaminate the sacrifice. Because when Jesus was raised from the dead, he had not presented himself as the sacrifice to the Father. So when Mary was saying, Master, that's he said, don't. No, not yet. I have not yet ascended to my father. If Mary had done it, I said, Mary, you better, <laughs> you better get it together. Because the first message that we are in, if God us into it, you don't spoil it the second time. You understand? You better not. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious about that. You, you, you better just stay away with your excitement now. Just keep yourself together, sister. Okay? <laughs> oh, my goodness. And Jesus said one of the most beautiful things, I don't think Mary got it. Jesus said, he said, go tell my brethren that I ascend unto my father and your father. Now, remember that this same Mary knew what that got Jesus into. When Jesus said, I am my father, I am one, they knew what he was saying. They said, you being a man, you are making yourself equal to God because you are claiming that Jehovah is your father. Mm -hmm. He wasn't speaking about the universal title that we say, oh, God is our father. No, it was something personal. Yes. So he said to Mary, he looked at him and said, I'm not talking about you. I'm you. This God is my father and your father. So you can go and tell others, just like I said, that the father is my father. And Mary said, uh, I had everything but that. <laughs> because I'm not willing. And that's why it was John, the beloved, that was bold enough to go in the direction of his divinity. None of the disciples did. When the other disciples were talking about the genealogy of Jesus, John said, in the beginning was the word. Hey! He said, forget about Mary. Forget about Abraham. I don't care about no stuff. He's <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. When others were trying to make, make him politically correct, John said, no. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shining in the darkness. And darkness comprehended it not. My God. Then he said, he said, and the word became flesh. No mention of Mary. He said, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and reality. Hallelujah. Why Matthew was talking about uh, and this begot this. That begot this. That begot this. He said, throw away those nonsense. He's the word of God became flesh. Let's get straight to the point. My goodness. Hallelujah. Woo. <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, I love John. I love John. I mean, he was so conscious. When others were crucified, see, Peter, based on history, Peter was crucified upside down. They wanted to crucify him. He said, no, for the respect for the, for the Son of God. Can you have me crucified upside down? When others were being killed by human weapon, 
when he came to John, he couldn't kill him. Because divinity was at work in him. My God. I said they couldn't kill him. See, the, you know, the prophet said, no weapon that came alive in John. I mean, the fellow was thrown into a boiling oil. I mean, they fried him. <laughs> Shaked him. Got him fried. Came out and said, my God. Pierced him. He didn't go in. Oh, my God. Every human weapon that was available, they used it against John. It did not prosper. They said, okay, uh, you go. Uh, when you are tired, we, we created a new country for you. It's called the island of Patmos. You stay there. That was not Jesus. That was John. Remember what Jesus said. He said, the works that I do, he said, but greater works than this. And John, when, when Jesus said that, John said, I heard that. I'm going to take you up on that. The other disciples said, praise the Lord. No, not John. John, he said, praise the Lord. He took a hold of his word. Say, I'm not letting go of it. Meaning, if John was locked in a container, and an hydrogen bomb was set off. John would have walked out and said, uh, can I have water to drink? I think, can I have some water to drink? <laughs> Divinity and life. That means every cell of his blood were all taken over with the divine life. Every, everything in him, divinity swallowed up humanity. You think that guy will have problem resisting cake? No. <laughs> Do you think he will have problem resisting all the calves there is? No. Divinity had swallowed him up. He was no longer a human being. He was alive to God. And, and the amazing thing is that that's the very life that you have. It is your responsibility. It is my responsibility to wake up to this reality. Hunger. Hunger. And the love for Jesus. It is absolute possible to even function at higher level than John, the beloved. Remember, see, when you, John was more or less like, you see, we say Paul was given the revelation of the church. But John seems to be in, in, in was, it just, it looks like he's spaced out. <laughs> you you want to say, the things that he was saying was incomprehensible. I'm telling you the truth. You see, understand that Paul's writing was a trouble, was a problem to so many religious people. Yeah. Because even Peter said, some of the things that Paul is saying is very hard to understand. Yeah. I don't think he read John's books. <laughs> if he read John's episode, he was saying, no comments. Yeah. Here is why I said so. John said, he said, Whatsoever that is born of God does not sin. Yes. Huh? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't say, you know, some of the trans, you know, see the commentators and the theologians, they can't they can accept it. I said, if you have followed John, that would be very easy to accept. He said, because you are born of God, he said, you cannot sin. Meaning, you lose, you have lost the ability. It's just like, you don't back. Not that you cannot back, you don't back. 
It's a thing of ability. It's an innate, it's a, it, it was a niche. This is, you don't. Yes. Not that you, you will not. You, 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 you don't. Yes. He said, because the seed of God remains in him. I say, yeah. yeah. Now you can appreciate because Paul, I believe Paul was brought into this reality. But Paul was very conscious because he had to carry the whole church alongside with him. He said, if God permit, in Hebrews chapter number 6, he said, if God permit, he said, let us go into perfection. He said, let's leave aside this laying of hands and this baptism of the Holy Ghost. He said, these are the rudimentaries of Christ. These are the elementaries of Christ. He said, these are the foundation of Christ. He said, let's go on to perfection. See, there are things that I believe that happened with the apostles that were not written. Because the Bible tells us also about Jesus that there are things that were written about Jesus that were not, that happened in Jesus' ministry that were not written. I believe, I believe very strongly that some of the apostles, they walked through the burial ground and everybody came up. They didn't pray, they just, they just strode by. And I'm very convinced of John. Because John the beloved was life. Mm. The guy was life. It was a, it was a, it was. If John sat on your broken chair, the chair will fix itself. I'm telling you the truth. He was full. To maximum capacity. He functioned at the maximum at the maximum level of divinity that was available and possible in this realm of humanity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. You think a plant would die in John's house without watering? Forget about watering. Someone that was fried. The fling, it went, <laughs> they fried him. No strand of hair, bones. And here you are, just a splash. Ah, ah, Jesus, Jesus. Just a splash of hot oil. While you're frying, touch your hand, you're running. <laughs> here, was, <laughs> here was a fellow. It wasn't just his finger. Yeah. It was his whole being. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Wow. So the next time that all, all have splashes on you and you fed up, he said, pain, you better, you, better take, <laughs> you better get yourself together. I refuse to be hurt by you. I refuse to be hurt by you. Hallelujah. You must say it. Hallelujah. I refuse to be hurt by you. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. That's what Jesus said. I said when Jesus said so, made such declaration, John took a hold of it. He said, I know that's for me. Amen. A fried him. A frying chicken. Not a strand of his hair. But I say, go. That's your country. Go live there. You are beyond us. 